Welcome to Mix Nuts Comedy. At the beginning of the month, our comics are given a theme. The comics are given the entire month to write an entire set about this theme, and they all interpret it in a different way. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Eric McKenzie! Hey guys. <clears throat> this is too short for me. I'm six foot four and a half, if you guys are curious. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Step one, razzing the audience. You. Who this guy? Over here. Over there. This guy, everyone comes here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, <laughs> white or something? Like, <laughs> Look at this girl, front row. <laughs> Bitch? I'm gonna go back to the first guy here. <laughs> he just seems like an easy target. <laughs> Look at me, just like dressed look at nicely, like exhibiting confidence in himself. Like, We're both the right target. Yeah, is a little bit more stylish. <laughs> look at this guy! <laughs> All right, Raz the audience check. Is anyone? Mom's not here. <laughs> family, family. So while we're all here tonight. I think I think we can all uh, agree that family is always there for you. Family, family's always got your back. <laughs> family is, you know, I, I take my family wherever I go. You know what, everyone give a hand for, just, just put your hands together for family right now, right now. Actually, you know what? Fam? Come on, man. Eric, it's Lee Fam, dude. Let's get it right. Yeah. 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 Just... <laughs> fam, like, you know. Come on, dude. I've known you since softball, six years now. Okay, sorry. Sorry. I just wanted you guys to know my best friend, Fam. Sorry, Lee. As he says, his Canadian name is. I don't. I don't. Uh, I refer. I. I like to call people by their original names from their original cultures. I think that's respectful. So, thank you, Lee. Um, but my my parents are my parents are jerks, you know. Like they're never there for me. Like my mom said she was gonna come, but she she's not here. Fam, Lee, me and you, every day. Okay. You know, I think I think uh, there's a lot of bad parents out there. I think uh, parents should, should have to take a test. Um, for example, I had a, I had another joke, but I scratched it. This is, this is a real life joke. This is something that popped up on my way here. So I was on my way here, walking down Humberline Road, and there was some young girl, she was on the porch, she was, she was talking to her friend in crisis, crisis mode. And she's like, if you want to get your baby to sleep, if you want to get her to sleep for the night, you give her a plastic blade. Give her a plastic blade, she'll go to sleep. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, I can't, you can't make this shit up. I was walking by, I was like, took a double take, I'm not walking, I have to get here. You know. But I'm still thinking about it, and plastic blade, what comes to mind when you think of plastic blade? What's a plastic blade, really? The first thing you think of is a helicopter, obviously, a plastic helicopter, the blade. Why would, you give that to your, why would you give that to your baby, really? That's not going to make them sleep. It's actually, if anything, it's going to be the opposite. It's going to get them more awake during, during the plastic light. The only other thing I could think of was the baby has been introduced to a vampire-slaying movie 
way too young, <laughs> and there's some sort of obsession with Wesley Snipes. And I think, I really do think, it's more plausible that the plastic blade was a plastic blade action figure. And I, I think that, uh, I don't know, like, if you can give me a better explanation after my set, uh, you, I welcome it, because I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I really don't know. But anyway, back to my point. Parents should have to take a test, really. Uh, not, not everyone should be parents, you know? I, I think I'd fail a test, to be honest. I think you'd all fail a test, 70% of you. I think my parents would have maybe failed the test. I think, uh, my mom definitely dropped me on my head a few times, you know, like, it happens. <laughs> she raised me well. I turned out awesome, as you can see. Um, and I'm not trying to brag, but you know, like, no permanent brain damage. But anyway, <laughs> parents should have to take a test, that's what I'm saying. You have to go to the test, you go, I can imagine the future, the near future, you know, like a parent, parental license bureau that you'd walk into, you'd wait in line, you know, smelly people and flies everywhere and you know, to this, do this test. And question one, do you have dreams? Yes. Question two, do you have aspirations? Yes. You fail. I'd probably fail. We'd all fail, really. I think, come on. <laughs> and then there'd be like a, you know, a third, you wouldn't really need that many questions, really. You get a third question, it would be a really odd ball question. Just get those last people and be like, would you rather, at this point in time in your life, have A, a job as a DJ at a popular local radio station, B, a fresh born new baby, C, a <laughs> to be the owner of a monster truck derby property, racetrack property. Now, you know, like, let's all think about that right now. I think if you went in there, you know, Reginald goes in there and he's like, oh, well, what? Hmm. I've always wanted to be the owner of a monster truck racetrack derby property. Charlene, the baby's off. The baby, that's it. That's it, we're doing it. And no one would have babies. I don't think anyone would have babies if we had that. I think we'd all be just owning monster truck race track derby properties and being <laughs> DJs of popular local radio stations. <laughs> anyway, I, I shouldn't be so hard on my, my parents. You know, I, It's a lot to ask. I don't think anyone, all the other comics parents are here. I don't think... I should feel that bad about it. I just feel like. Actually, sorry, Eric. It's uh, hold on. Your mom, what's your face? She wants to talk to you. One sec. So it's a calm. Like I haven't seen her in six years. Can we get her on speaker? I don't know how to work it. It's a BlackBerry. Okay. <laughs> I just want everyone to hear this. I, like, I, don't, I don't know how to turn on speaker. Yet. People don't call me. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's been there. Hello? Hello? Hey, hey, Mom. Hi. Hi. Just call to see how you're coming. How are you doing? I thought you were coming. No. Hey, I thought, <laughs> I thought you were coming tonight. You know what, Mom? I just want you to know in front of all these people tonight, this is just like every time you never came to anything I've ever done. This is like softball, round two, strike three. You're out, Mom. You're out in front of all these people tonight, and I just want you to know. I want you to know you're on speaker. You're on, no, no. No, no just let me finish. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna try to compose myself. We shouldn't be so hard on our parents. You know why? Because parents are just like kids having kids. You know, I don't, I don't know if you ever thought about this. You know, I'll be honest. My mom dropped me on my head a few times. It's, you know, I came out as a good guy. I, I think you can all agree I'm an awesome person. You know, like, and I'm not trying to brag, but no permanent brain damage.